this out, guys. We're back with part two of the q and I've got with me Kiwi this time. This is my baby girl. And I've got Jedi, my baby little boy. Give me a kiss. Mwah. So, we're going to be doing part two of the Q&A, guys. There will be some gameplay around my head. I do apologize for my hair. I've just had a haircut. What we're going to be doing in this episode, we're going to answer all of the questions you guys asked me over on Instagram. This is part two. And if you do want to actually ask me any more questions... There will be my Instagram link in the description box. Make sure you follow me. It is General underscore Tony. Okay, so I've got loads of questions in front of me. There's not really going to be any technique as to answering these. I'm going to try and answer as many as I can as quickly as possible. So let's get ourselves into question number one. Lone Wolf says, Tony, do you not realize you can use the Builder Potions on the main base? I've only just realized that, guys, so I do apologize if I have been annoying you. And I haven't been using my builder base potions. So, question number two. Tony, are you going to keep playing PUBG? To be honest, guys, I play Fortnite and I play PUBG. I like Fortnite a lot more. So I'm not going to be playing any more PUBG on this channel. It actually got quite good views on the video. And I'm sure I could probably get more views on that game than, than COC. But I just don't like it. I honestly, I, I like it, but I don't like it that much, guys. So, let's keep going. Here we go. Why do you what would you do if you won a million dollars on the lottery? What would I do guys? I would probably help my family out and I would probably buy myself a Lamborghini. Yeah, that's definitely what would you do if you won a million dollars? Let me know down below in that comment section guys and by the way don't forget to subscribe if you're new join the family Fingers crossed there will be another update coming out shortly. Okay Here we go now. I'm gonna try and find some interesting questions guys. So this is a really good one. Q&A. Tony, can you please tell your journey? Okay, this is going to be a really great answer, guys. So, basically, I was 20 years old. I was living in Greece. I was working on a party island. And uh, I came back home. And what happened was I failed my last year of uni. My girlfriend slept with my best friend. And pretty much I was in loads of debt, guys. And I didn't really know what to do. So a couple of months went by. I done medical trials, which are kind of like you uh, you go to science labs and they pay you to take drugs and stuff like that, guys. So I got it myself out of the debt and I ended up falling out with my girlfriend and my best friend at the time. When I was in hospital, I was actually, you know, watching YouTube and I thought, you know what, I'm going to make my own YouTube channel. I was already playing COC for a couple of months. My, uh, my brother showed me COC, guys. And I figured, you know what, I'm going to play COC. Whilst I was doing that, I was also working for myself, doing animation on the side, because I did go back to uni, and I did finish my degree, guys. A couple of years went by, and I'm in the position I'm in now. I'm actually opening a business, guys, and I'm going to show you what it is in a couple of weeks' time once it gets started. I'm building it from scratch, literally a physical building. I'm going to show you what it is, so make sure you stay tuned for that, guys. But if there's one thing I would say to you, if you're young... If, you know, you, you fall out with your best friend, if your girlfriend or your boyfriend cheats on you, if you don't get along with your mum or your dad, don't worry, guys. All that stuff passes and you learn from it. It's part of life. And if you're smart, keep your chin up. You're going to get through it and you will definitely succeed, guys. So grind your way to the future and I wish you all the best of luck. So let's keep going. What is your favorite non-Supercell game? Currently, it is definitely Fortnite. Favorite game of all time, without a doubt, is GTA, guys, followed by COC, followed by Call of Duty, then Fortnite. I actually liked Call of Duty more than Fortnite, but that was the old COD. That was like six years ago, five, six years ago. Fortnite's definitely a great game, but, you know, it's a phase. It'll come, it'll go, and there'll be more games that come in the future. What is your favorite dog breed? So, my favorite dog breed is the Golden Retriever. That was my first ever dog when I was about eight years old. Unfortunately, he was called Max. He passed away when he was five, guys. He had an acute, I think it was an acute appendicitis or something like that. I can't remember what it was. But um, unfortunately, he had to be put to sleep. Well, let me know your favorite dog breed down below in that comment section. Do you play console games? Yes, I do. Currently only Fortnite on PS4, guys. My tag is g-tony93, so feel free to add me if you want to, guys. If COC doesn't release an, an update, are you going to stop posting, guys? Yes. If they didn't release another update in the next couple of months, I would stop posting because I'd, I'd have nothing to do in the game. It's literally that simple, guys. So, hey, General Tony, what is the best update till date? And uh, waiting for you to answer my question. So, my favorite update of all time 
has got to be the Town Hall 11 update December 2016, 2015, December 2015. And uh, I was doing YouTube one year at the time. I had about 80,000 subs and it actually gave me a huge boost for my channel. It gave me loads of new content guys and it was an awesome update, brought so many new features to the game. And two years later, we could possibly be about to receive Town Hall 12, so fingers crossed that is going to happen. Leave a like if you want Town Hall 12 to come into the game, guys. I want to see how many people want to see a Town Hall 12 update. So, let's keep going. Tony, what is your dream truth? I really want to see the Elixir Beast in the game. Now, I don't know if you guys know what that is. It was actually a Supercell troop concept about a year ago for Clash Royale. It's basically a, a, a beast which looks like Elixir. And it walks around, it's like this big purple ball. But it's such an awesome concept, guys. And um, Supercell didn't end up adding it into Clash Royale. So, fingers crossed, it could come into COC. And uh, that's probably my dream troop to come into the game. What is something that needs to be added in COC, Tony? I would say we need to have, eventually, different heroes where we can possibly only bring three, but you can choose which ones you want to bring into battle. I, I think that would be awesome, and you can also choose which ones you put on defense. It would give, you know, maxed out players like myself a chance to use Dark Elixir if we got, you know, the opportunity to upgrade heroes with Dark Elixir. And it would also bring a new concept to the game, and it would make people want to reach the higher levels, as it would be an awesome thing to do. So here's an impossible question for you, Tony. What was the first thing you gemmed in COC? Not the intro. What was the first thing I gemmed in Clash of Clans, guys? Okay, I downloaded the game back in September 2014. So, or was it August? August 2014, you're talking just under four years ago. And I believe I spent, I'm not gonna lie, I think I bought a 99.99 gem pack, so a $100 gem pack when I was Town Hall 7, and I think that was my first ever thing I gemmed, and I think it was a Barbarian King, I think I gemmed the upgrade time, guys. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that was it, it was either that, or it was Town Hall 7, from Town Hall 7 to Town Hall 8, one of those things, let me know what was the first thing you gemmed down below, guys, that is definitely a hard question. So, if General Tony was a YouTuber, but none of his videos were what people liked, what would happen? That's a question from Seema. Well, my channel would die, guys. That's what's going to happen with everyone's channel anyway. So, Tony, did you go to school and college? Yes, I did. I went to school, I went to college, then I went to university, guys. And uh, I graduated at a really early age. I'm actually the youngest in my year. My birthday is August 30th. If I was born about 30 hours later, I would be in the year below, guys. But uh, yeah, that's my uh, my school, college, and my university. And I studied animation, so I always wanted to go into game design and uh, doing something similar, playing games for a living. So that is absolutely awesome. So here we go. Let's see, eight minutes and 22 seconds in, guys. I want I want to make this at least 10, 11 minutes, and then we'll do a uh, a giveaway at the end as well. So, what is your feeling after 2.2 million subscribers? My feeling. Anything is possible if you simply put the time into it, guys. One thing I'm going to guarantee you, you don't need to be talented. You don't need to have, you know, some sort of special technique to do something. Stick at it, put your passion into it, and make sure that you give it everything you can. And uh, I promise you it will work out in the end, guys. And if it doesn't, you still learn from it, so you can always try something else and use the uh, what you learn to adapt the next thing you try. So definitely give it everything you can. Tony, can you please make Captain Tony a maxed account? Guys, that would take me so long. I try to play as much as I can, but um, I'm not gonna lie. Playing a Town Hall 9 account after having a maxed out Town Hall 11, or almost maxed out, for those of you that do know, I just have walls left. Playing a Town Hall 9 account, it's, it's a long process, guys, and um, I've gotta be motivated to do it. I, I reckon if there's another update, I would become more motivated. So, let's keep going. Tony, is your English language your main language? Yes, it is, guys. I was born in London. My mum is Italian, though. Uh, half, half Italian, half Scottish, but I was born in London. So let's keep going. I've actually only been to, like, five countries, four countries in my entire life, guys. First time I ever went on a, went on a plane, I think I was 16, but uh, I can't quite remember. So... Tony Bro, you have been using which recorder? So I currently use an Elgato HD, guys, but you can actually use your iPhone 
or your Android, I believe, to record your, your, your phone now, but I think it's only 10 minutes. So if you wanna make a video that's longer than 10 minutes, maybe we're gonna have to wait a few more years for the technology to develop in order to do that, guys. So let's answer one more question. Here we go. Hold on. Let me find a good one, guys. Okay, how to be successful with YouTube, you know, COC YouTube. Couple of things. First off, you've got to work harder than everyone else. Secondly, you've got to find to do something different. Like, what do you offer which is unique? Third thing, you've got to do it every single day, which kind of ties into the first one, work harder than everyone else. Fourth, pretty much try and collab with as many people as you can, guys. So, oh, there's my dog. So we're gonna win this here. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. I'm gonna pick two winners for a $100 giveaway, guys. One for iTunes, one for Android. From that comment section, I will DM you. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out.